So if you've watched my previous video where I reviewed those uh, Halo TWS earbuds, you will know that while the Mori pods sounded okay, the W1s didn't as one of the earbuds, I can't really remember which side right now, had a problem where it was faulty and sounded absolutely terrible. Now, normally that kind of thing instantly relegates them to the e-waste bin, but I'm not like that. As some of you may know, I love repairing stuff and more than repairing stuff, I love making awesome custom stuff. And so with the uh, W1s, I kind of saw an opportunity to make my own very set of custom earbuds. This of course meant that I had to you know, strip out the existing drivers on the W1s and transplant new ones onto them. So there comes again the question of where do I even get a donor? Well, as it turns out, I just bought myself a pair of uh, Toppers H3 sports earbuds, but I bought those to instead use them with my Cost KSE 75s. And with that mod already done, as you can see right here, I was left with their drivers and honestly, if I didn't already, you know, really love my Cost KSE 75s, I would have used these Toppers H3s because they actually sound pretty good with their three driver per ear design. Yes, three, two dynamic drivers for the uh, mids and bass with one balanced armature for crisp and clear highs. And of course, with three in each ear, that brings it to a total of six drivers, which is absolutely cool. So can I merge the body of the Halo W1 together with the sound of the Toppers H3? Well, now, come on. If you've already seen the thumbnail, and I'm guessing you have, you know that I already did one of the uh, earbuds. So I am just gonna talk and show you how I did it with the other one. Let's get started. So the first thing that I did was tear the W1 earbuds apart. Uh, I did so by using a chisel and slowly worked my way around the earbud until the uh, two pieces came apart. We obviously have to remove the driver part of the earbud, so I did so by desoldering those tiny little wires off. And I also took note of the polarity. Uh, in this case, blue is positive and white is negative. I also want to remove the magnet that is on here as it is instrumental to having the earbud snap in place in the charging case. I have my donor drivers already ready, but obviously these two aren't exactly going to fit together because I mean, well, the shapes don't match up and stuff. But not to worry though, that is exactly why we have 3D modeling and 3D printers. So I got to work at uh, designing an adapter of sorts in 3D Studio Max, uh, making sure that I also remembered to model a place for the magnet to slot into. Once completed, I sent it to my Ender 3, but I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted because an FDM printer isn't generally very good at nailing that, uh, you know, finer details as the uh, resolutions only go up to maybe about uh, 0.2 millimeters, depending on the nozzle that you have. And I have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, uh, not to mention the amount of overhangs that you have to deal with and, you know, any kind of artifacts. So I hit up a friend of mine with a resin 3D printer and got his help with printing the part with his Elegu Mars 3 and the results honestly look night and day in terms of quality and resolved detail that just overall looks so much better and just so much cleaner. With that done, the first thing that I did was to replace the magnet that was in the previous housing into this one, taking note of the magnetic poles because of course, we do not want our earbuds later, you know, rejecting their new case and go flying off now, do we? Uh, you know, because uh, similar polarities reject, you know, repel. 
Of course, I also additionally secured it with some B7000 and glued the uh, 3D printed adapter to the body of the Halo W1s and held them together for a couple of hours with some clamps. Once that has dried sufficiently, I soldered the speaker wires onto my new drivers, making note to get the polarity correct. Uh, I know which side is positive as it has this red marking on the uh, PCB and on the uh, solder joint. So the blue wire goes there. And once that's done, I do a quick test with them to test if the transplant is successful by pairing the earbuds and plugging them into my ears with, you know, the uh, other half dangling off and all, just to check if I can hear anything. And yep, it is working beautifully. So the next step is of course to seal it all up again by using some B7000 and some clamps to hold it all together. With that, both sides are finally done. And can I just say that this is so cool to have my own TWS earbuds? The audio quality is so much better now with a much more, you know, fuller sound, better bass with really nice and, you know, clear highs. I mean, it's still not as good as my KSC-75s in terms of soundstage, but most importantly, it is finally working and working well, so I am absolutely pleased with this mod. That's not where this mod ends though, because once the battery does run out, I run into a new problem. You see, the uh, earbuds now do not fit into the old charging case and therefore, I am now unable to charge them and so that's something that we're going to have to fix in a later video and indeed we'll need to design and 3D print our own new case as you can tell I've already torn it apart so stay tuned for that. If you thought that this video was cool make sure to give it a like and share it if you've got any questions or comments well leave them down below and of course to see what happens next on how you know the new case looks like make sure that you're subscribed and notified to my channel thank you for watching my name is yang the tech rodent and i am absolutely loving the maker's life i'll see you guys in the next video